Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to Captain of Industry, where last time we got everything moving and grooving in this huge automation game by automating all the basics. We got concrete out the wazoo, sent everything we needed to automate all the basic production so that today we can scale out of freaking control and pick up the pace of this playthrough because look at all these resources. I need to destroy them. And if you're excited for that, remember to leave a like. And getting started, we need to do stuff with the ship here. I've kind of been ignoring it, but it is useful. We can load a crew, we can send it on an adventure, and we could get new stuff and things. So that's how it will start. Let's load a crew up. We have 28 workers available, awesome. It's filled up on fuel, great. Now we should be able to send it on its merry way. Yeah, so we haven't looked at this much, but there are trading posts where you can trade your goods for other goods. And that is super, super handy when things get a little crazy. But there's also places to explore to. And I'm sure we'd be able to find other trading posts and maybe other things, but I don't know. Which is why we got the crew here to go and find out. Ooh, we should name the ship. Yeah, what do we name our ship? Well, I guess since it's gonna be a battleship at some point, we'll call it the SS Kiblitz. Ha 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 ha! Get it? Well, look, it'll make more sense once we get some guns and armor on this bad boy. But for now, that works. And with the fuel and everything, we can't explore. Why? I want to explore. Fuel tank. Why don't we have fuel tank? How do we make the fuel tank? Do we need tech? Oh, this is crazy. Maybe we actually need fuel for the ship. Well, that's weird, but it says like it has, oh, 0% fuel. <laughs> okay, don't bully me. All right, is three trucks enough? No, four trucks was enough. Okay, crew, fuel. Now, exploration time. Let's go, ship on the way. Oh, and it actually set sail, that's actually cool. I wonder what the lore of the game is. Like, why do we have a battleship? Why is the world flooded? I don't get it. All right, that's off now. So we should work on other things while it's going back and forth. Mainly on tech. Uh, we have all the like level one basic stuff automated with belts and stuff. So we need a level two lab and we need to make the research lab parts. Of course there's gonna be research lab parts. <laughs> That's okay, fun stuff to automate. I guess first we wanna make the actual labs. And what is the recipe for these bad boys? Oh, nothing actually crazy. Mechanical parts and electronics? Yeah, we can easily do that. Because we're making some assembly parts here, and then we have electronics over there. So yeah, we can just scoop one of you friends out, belt this all together. So electronics to here, that to there, and then we have to scoot the other stuff from the other side of the world. JK, it's like right here. So fortunately, we can just belt them over this way. In dream scenario, this connects. Oh baby, you gotta love to see it. And that just goes to there. Oh, don't do like a curvy thing. Oh, so inefficient. That's okay, we got plenty of space so we can just adjust. And the best part about things is we have everything now. Like we can really move quickly. We have all the construction parts we're ever gonna need and we're producing more as time progresses. And there's nothing much holding us back except for expanding our tileable systems. Oh, and upgrading the old ones. Maybe we should actually connect this up to a proper water pump, eh? Yeah, that might be a good idea moving forward. And I'll probably go through a lot of systems and upgrade them like that. Ooh, but the location has been explored. Treasure? Oh, 24 po- I don't want population right now. Eh, but a couple extra goods is okay. We can keep exploring? Ooh, so we can explore like everywhere around here. This is a huge map. Hmm, let's explore to here. Go, go ship, have fun. Well, that's gonna take no time. Oh, but it has to actually explore the area. Gotcha. Oh, and interesting, you can see like the fuel reserves and all this kind of jazz. Oh, so we're gonna want an expanded fuel tank if we want to explore further out. But hey, right now, look at that. New discovery, cargo ship technology, because we discovered a damaged one. Hey, hey, that's pretty neat. Actual hooray. Oh, and we just can just keep going further. Oh, we can start repairs too. Wait, we can get two ships? Excuse me? Okay, that's awesome. 
Uh, but I don't think we have enough fuel to really explore much more. Fuel reserves, 546. It says it doesn't take any fuel to go home, but I don't trust it. I'm scared. Go home. Oh, that was such a good idea. Fuel reserves, 460. Distance, 4300-ish, whatever. Yeah, that was a good idea. Oh, and we get a tutorial for the cargo ship. Oh, it's so cute. And this thing automatically departs and gathers stuff from the world map. And it's more efficient than our battleship. Yeah, that makes sense. We can transport multiple products. And apparently we can find fuel out in the world too. That's good, because I've been worried with this game that we wouldn't have enough. Like our oil fields consist of this and like one other somewhere over this way. It's not a lot. So that's very reassuring going forward. And going forward, we're gonna have our new lab stuff. Oh boy. But looking forward, we know we're gonna have to make more lab equipment. Do we wanna have the labs in our assembly line or do we wanna have to have the labs just somewhere else? Where's the next lab part? How far can we go with this? Here we go. I knew it, I knew it. We're gonna need a lab equipment to make lab equipment three. And liquid nitrogen? What? Steel? Nitrogen? Chemical plants? Dude, things are gonna get crazy over there. Main thing is though, uh, tier two labs, we're just gonna build like off in space. Like probably just down here next to the village. Oh, but dang it, it can be automated. Why do you do this to me, game? We can't just not have a belt go into this, right? Uh, no, I don't care. We're building it here. Oh, hey, how about a compromise? We'll put it down here so maybe we can add it in the future. And we'll add in a little bit of extra storage so we can have some of those around too. That should be good. And now that our ship is docked and getting refueled, what do we want to do next? Probably check for problems. Uh, it looks like we have fuel, oil's going well. What are these? Can they go? Nope, they're still full of stuff. So then let's take a gander at the tech tree. So we got some biofuel here. Basic desalination. So we can take seawater and make water out of it. Better power generation. Hmm, sounds like it'll be handy. But really, we gotta do this. Oh, well, wait, no, we just got the cargo ship. Let's build a cargo ship depot. Just gotta wait for a little bit of science parts to get scooted over here. Oh, if we could actually make them. Why is this not working? Why is there no copper? Where's the copper? Missing an input? Of what? There's impure copper, there's this here. This is connected, right? Power's looking okay too. Oh, I see what I did here. It's slag. This is building up on slag. Slag, we gotta bring over to the concrete setup so all this can run. Okay, Mobby. Everything's really all good because we're at that point in the game where making like changes and fixes like this is not difficult at all. We have all the infrastructure made, we have everything planned out, and we know what we're doing. So with that, let's just quick deliver it. Why not? That just builds it right now for some unity, which is our little mana points. And that gets it built pretty much immediately. Oh, but wait, that was only one of the problems. We actually just need coal. Well, where's the coal at? Here? Do you need more friends? You can have more friends. Have two more. Heck, with all the equipment we have, let's build you a brother. Oh, but no! He's trapped here! He can't go under this belt we just made. Oh, Kibbs, come on. You know better. It's so ironic, it's like I was just saying, oh, we know what we're doing, everything's gonna work out, this is perfect. Yeah, okay there, Kibbs. It totally is gonna be perfect, every time, right? That's okay. We fixed it. Now, friend, have your brother come over. Oh, he's already there. Hooray. Look at him go. Also, I made a second one for the iron setup because holy, this system be hungry. There you go, buddy. Is everything working well over here? Yeah, pretty well. And now we got the coal again here, which is gonna fire this up. Gets the molten goodies scooting, which gets the smelting going again, which allows electrolysis to happen and eventually leads to us getting some more copper plates. And less electronics, and less science. So we'll have the cargo depot in no time. So while we wait, I'm sure this is ready to go. Yeah? All right. Let's explore some more. Let's go to like the super close places first, like here, there, over here, and whatever. 
I want to find more trading posts. These things are super, super handy. And what do we get? Another cargo ship. Does this mean we get two? That'd be cool. No, this looks like we get the loot from it. Oh no, we could get an extra cargo ship. That would be sick. Well, we'll get that soon. First, we explore over here. See if we get any other cool things. Okay, just more loot. And workers? I don't want more workers. Free. Oh, and that's it for that chain. Okay. Well, then we'll go back home, we'll gather up supplies, and then we will repair these cargo ships so we can get them. Pretty much almost have the cargo depot, so we have to prepare for that. Oh yeah, just finished the research, so it's go time, brother. Let's build this. So we're gonna be bringing in tons of resources from outside of the world, so we really want this in a centralized place. Like, right over here if possible. So how's this gonna work? Yeah, collision with shipyard? Oh, don't be like that, man. Needs to be in the ocean. Okay, come on. Just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit like this. All right, well, apparently this works. Okay, we're gonna try it out. Hopefully that'll be fine into the future. We got a bridge here just in case. That should be great. Oh, let's quick deliver just so we can see what's going on as well. Oh, and similar to the cities, we have little modules that we can attach. So for the cities, we can put on like a trash module and food modules to like interact with this. But here we can get some gasoline scooting around and oh, a unit module and a loose module. Okay, so if we're getting like electronics and like complicated stuff, we want this. And if it's like coal, we want that. Okay, well then we want coal and oil being brought here. Because grand plan, all of this is gonna be oil production. Like we're gonna rip out all this jazz and all that will be oil. So that's a good place to have this. Oh, and it actually adds on like different equipment depending on the module. That's, uh, that's pretty cool, it's pretty nifty. Well, we also will want the loose stuff and we're gonna have two cargo ships. So with the loose stuff, <laughs> well, that's gonna be a little different. Can we just put that over here? That's gonna be a firm negative ghost rider. Can we put that over here? Nope. What about over here? Huh? Come on, come on. Oh, you don't want to play my games? Gah. Fine, we will build that later then. Let's finish the rest of this up real nice and quick. With the quick deliver. Uh, we will want to keep this full. And we just need to bring steel over to the other area. Or do we just click start repairs? Waiting for materials, okay. And does that do the same? Hopefully. Exploration wise, let's continue with that. Ship, go scoot. And do we have some trucks coming to bring over those other things? We probably have to bring the iron here, yes? Oh yeah, but you have to start loading the ship. No, we already sent the ship away. Can we still load like this cargo area? Hopefully. Can we load both of these? Oh, I see. Only one at a time. All right, let's start with that. In comes the fleet. And that will rock and roll. Oh, so much to do though. Research. Research has been moving and grooving. Let's just get some simple stuff. We'll get retaining walls, maintenance depot two, pipes two, yes please. Diesel, oh, just you wait. And I guess a burner, which can burn trash. Convenient. Oh, and while we're doing all this kind of stuff, I should have built this a long time ago, but there's something called like a captain's quarters or something like that. Captain's office which allows us to control our population better. Yeah, we're gonna want that. TLDR mayor's office. Uh, where do we want that? I guess it kind of doesn't matter, but it's our mayor office, so it has to look cool. Eh, whatever, we'll just put it up in front here. And can we just like quick build this? Quick deliver? No, we don't have enough construction parts. Let's see, we can boost the population growth. Disable not natural population growth. Oh, that's good. Health boost and plenty of food. Industrial edicts, so like some laws. Farming boost, that would be nice in case of emergency. Maintenance reduced by 15%, but we lose a unity probably per month. That's so good. Fuel saver, oh, that's huge. Uh, can't we just activate that right now? No, because the building's not done. Okay, uh, we will do that first, 100%. And then we'll just wait for that to be built. Do we have the iron in here? Yes. Good. Then what's going on with the ship? Oh, it found an oil rig. Ooh. Do we get to keep the oil? Fully explored shipware. Where did the ship go? Here. 
Start repairs. <gasps> we can repair oil rigs to get infinite oil, brother. Oh, you better believe we want that. My first quick little exploration trip down here. Then we'll skew things around and repair ships. Oh, and even better, this is so worth a sawmill. So infinite wood as well. Okay, I was super worried about that. We don't have unlimited wood on our island and we need that for construction parts. So that is mission critical. But for now, uh, let's just go home and get the cargo ships at least moving and grooving because we're gonna have to send probably, yeah, both of them to the oil rig and to the lumber mill there. And back to this damaged cargo ship. All the cargo is loaded, we can send the ship on its way. Does that mean we just look at the map and click and we're good? Deliver? Yes. Rock and roll. Man, this uh, ship actually has been a lot of fun. Enjoying that a lot. Uh, back to this. Now that it is here, let's disable natural population growth. We do not need this many people. And then fuel saver. Omega worth it. At least until we have that oil rig turned on. Oh, and there's tiers to this as well. So there's tier two, three. Obviously we get that later. Nice. Okay, and now we got our ship back. So let's send the main one back home. Let's load up, getting ready for the next one. And oh, there it is. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. All right, so it's docked, it can pick stuff up, but how do we direct it actually? Well, uh, okay, so I see. Probably once we repair these, then we can select destinations for this to go. <laughs> It's gonna be so fun. Very excited. And now we got the other ship. So we have the two. Managed to move some stuff around so we can get them both here and that's gonna be perfect. Also, this is going to be our oil ship. It will get all of the oil from around the world. That's it. So we have two little oil bays here and they will go to the oil well and bring everything to the oil place. And this ship will be for everything else. So we'll probably get like lumber and coal. So there's like the unit module and the loose module. And we're good to go there. Uh, let's now get the oil rig online. That would be splendid. How do we get that done? There's no like button here to do that. Okay, this is a little different. Do we not have to load up the shipyard this time? Do we just like click and start repairs and sure. That will just do its thing. Yes, I think so. Start loading the ship. Oh, I see. There it is. Okay, good. No, we gotta deliver the cargo. That means we'll get the stuff ready for that. Is the ship a moving? Is it a grooving? You better believe it. Oh, by the way, found another town just really quick. Look at this. There are contracts in the game. So you can trade cement for coal and establish a trade route. So I guess if you run out of stuff on your island, then you can actually do stuff over here. Don't worry about that later. We have oil. And we can upgrade it. <sighs> Uh, wait, we should probably get this built. Waiting for material delivery, I guess. Load cargo, how much, oh my gosh. We have 3,000 years worth of crude oil here. What? That's pretty good. Do we upgrade it? I think we do. Wait, where did all of our workers go? Why do we suddenly need 28 workers? What is going on? <laughs> oh, let me guess. They're all working on the oil rig. 36 people there? Are you all right, well, go on the lookout beacon to find the people. Wait, we don't have any people. Oh no, can we pause this? Oh, phew, that could have been a nightmare. Okay, we want more people right now. Uh, what were we doing here? We're saying no kids. Yeah, no, it's kiddo time. We do that, population goes back up, workers scoot. Food supply is looking fine. How are the graphs looking? Okay, statistics, statistically, oh good, we have like, 800 vegetables, amazing. And everything else is looking fine, I guess. I don't really care. And let's just adventure over this way, I guess. Let's see what we can find. And then with these towns, can we get population here? Adopt 10 pop for 2.5. Now, do we get the unity or do we lose it? I don't know. Also, how do we have negative unity now? When did this happen? Oh, we're probably not, oh, we have too many people and we're not providing enough stuff for the people. No, they started as just a little ship into exploration day and now everything is becoming disaster. Oh wait, what the, what happened here? Defeated, damage done, enemy zero, what? SS Kiblets found an enemy ship that has a gun? Oh, enemy found, 
ship with a battle score 100. So this is why we need the guns and all that stuff. So we can actually explore further out because I guess there are pirates everywhere. Oh, that's spooky. Uh, let's send the ship home then. It's pretty lucky we didn't get damaged there. It's something we're gonna have to look into later. I, I guess it makes sense that there would be pirates. Yeah, and that's why we'd get extra armor and guns and all that jazz. I wonder then if we lost our ship, do we just lose the game? Honestly, that would be kind of funny. JK, I would not. I put too much stress into this playthrough. We have to succeed at this point. Oh, and good. Refugees. Ooh, they brought a bunch of stuff too. Hooray! Back to... Oh, what do we do? What do we do? What are the problems we're facing right now? We need workers for the oil rig so we have infinite oil. The workers aren't happy though because we have too many people. People, what do they want? Apparently nothing. And our unity went back to positive now. Because they have a base, they have food, they have water, and just a little bit of electricity. And the pollution and the boosts are causing problems over here. Okay, well, we can turn off a bunch of boosts. We literally have too much concrete right now. In fact, we should start removing this whole system pretty quick. And then go back over to here, unpause the oil rig, and load cargo, I guess. Crest our ship to visit the location. Uh, I think that might be our main ship. How do we make you scoot? Uh, you know what? I think we just select it and load cargo. Yes? Are we gonna see a ship move? No, the main ship's moving. We don't want that to happen. Why didn't you go? Well, since we sent the main ship out, I guess we will deliver the cargo over there. And honestly, I'm gonna need some tutorials here. Oh, and the cargo ships will run off automatically. So we don't actually need to worry about this at all. But why won't it go automatically? Is it because nothing is demanding crude oil in our world? Doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, well, of course, we're gonna put these on here. And then once it's built, of course, it's gonna want crude oil. And the ship still isn't running away. Hmm. Oh, yes it is. Goodbye, friend. Go get me infinite oil forever, please. Thank you. All right, same deal in with this ship. I have it set to gather some wood when it can. So we'll build some storage for that and some storage over here too. There it goes. Oh, and then apparently there's a ship battle again. Oh, but this time we took damage. Eh, but not a lot. It's fine. Just tried to explore over this way. Clearly didn't work out. Let's go home. Move this stupid pipe out of the way and call it a day. We now have infinite resources coming in from around the world. Perfect. That means next time we can get into the crazy oil research stuff like advanced diesel, biofuel, distillation, and all that fun jazz. However, that is going to be all for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. But have a fantastic rest of your day and bye-bye.